Today we are going to learn about dolphin evolution. And evolution means changes over time. Biological evolution refers to the changes over time that occur in living organisms, such as the dolphin. The evolution of whales and dolphins from land mammals, or how did the dolphin lose his legs and gain his fluke and changed in hundreds of other ways to become the marine animal we see today. For millions of years, dinosaurs were the dominant animal on both the land and in the sea until the earth started cooling, seas retreated, and then 65 million years ago, a giant meteorite 10 miles across collided with the earth. At around the same time, massive volcanic eruptions in India further poisoned the atmosphere. What followed was a mass extinction of many forms of life on earth, including most dinosaurs. In the world that emerged from these sudden and violent changes in the earth's surface, also known as cataclysms, mammals evolved to occupy many of the ecological niches left absent by the departure of the dinosaurs. The ancestors of modern whales and dolphins began to evolve adaptations that would allow them to return to the sea. This would require some big changes for what was once a four-legged land animal. Here's some things to remember. Sound travels through water four times faster than through air. A warm-blooded animal will lose heat to water 24 times faster than to air. Water has only a thirteenth of the oxygen found in the same amount of air. And water is 800 times denser than the air. The land animal in the photo on the left needed to get rid of its hind legs, turn its front paws into flippers, move the nostrils to the top of its head, get rid of the fur and get blubber instead, and figure out a better way to hear underwater. Of course, no animal actually tried to make these changes. Instead, small differences occasionally appeared in the animal's ancestor to dolphins. Those that helped the animal survive in the marine environment were preserved and passed on to the next generation. Over millions of years, these small changes accumulated to effect a dramatic transformation, as you see the dolphin on the right. The dolphins we see today are the result of this process. The early ancestors of whales, dolphins, and porpoises were amphibious, which means they were able to live both on land and in the water, which means they stayed living near the shorelines of shallow seas. These are some images of these early ancestors. Over the next 50 million years, as the ancestors of today's dolphins and whales were pushed or drawn into deeper water, species more fully adapted to life in the ocean. One of them is called the Basilosaurus. Basilosaurus lived 35 million years ago and it was fully aquatic. Its range was probably worldwide, but most fossils have been found in the eastern United States and Egypt. Basilosaurus still had hind legs, but these were too small to be useful for swimming. In the photo on the top right, you can clearly see the transformations happening over a long period of time. Over the past 20 years, scientists have found and identified numerous transitional fossils of early whales, revealing how these mammals became adapted to life in the sea. The photo on the top right is a Basilosaurus fossil found in Egypt, where the fossils of over 400 early whales and manatees have been found and mapped. Fossils of the earliest whales are found along the border of India and Pakistan which is the site of an ancient shallow sea. Two obvious differences between modern dolphins and land mammals are the presence of a blowhole at the top of the head and the absence of hind limbs. Let's take a look at the photo at the top. It shows how the nostril moves from the front of the skull to the top of the skull. The first photo is from 50 million years ago. The middle is 25 million years ago and the photo on the right is a modern beluga whale today with the nostrils at the top of the skull. 
Now let's take a look at the photos on the bottom left. The top photo shows an ancestor that still has its hind limbs. This was 50 million years ago. The picture under that is the Basilosaurus we mentioned from 35 million years ago and it has very small hind limbs. And the photo on the bottom is the modern sperm whale with vestigial hind limb bones still left. Fossils recorded the gradual emergence of these features. As the ancestors to modern whales and dolphins evolved, the nasal passage migrated toward the top of the skull where we find it today, while the hind limbs shrank until disappearing altogether. I hope you enjoyed going back in time and learning about the evolution of whales and dolphins.